Fresh news from the GB News debate in Lee, Nick. You know about this? Yes, very good debate. I watched it all. It was excellent, and that's not even me being biased. Um, yes, yeah, so mail has gone with Tory leadership favourite Liz Truss vows to be robust with French and to deal with European judges in order to solve channel migrant crisis. And yeah, what she did, someone brought up the question of the French being difficult, and she said, you don't say. And it was a great anti-French moment. And it was <laughs> overall... you watch it. Yeah, I love it. It, it was overall very good. It, it was in Lee, and the people came across really well, the good people of Lee, and they had more time to talk, which I really liked. But she, Liz Truss covered quite a few things. She said, um, Kemi will pretty much definitely get a job, which yes. is good. She said top that... job, I think, Kemi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're referring to. And, and Kemi Bannock, yeah. And, and I know how to say we're mates, but um, just <laughs> Kemi. But uh, Telford, she said, will be properly investigated, and everyone who who was part of the Telford scandal and Rotherham and so on, will be investigated, so hopefully that happens. Yep. Um, it's going to be a lot of work. And it's a lot of work, I know. Every town well, in the UK. Well, that's the problem with these promises. They are campaign promises. The other one I liked, and it's only a campaign promise, is she said rental history mm. will be taken into account for mortgage applications because it's so annoying when you've paid consistently a high rent for years and they go, oh, you can't pay this much lower mortgage. And people on Twitter have said, well, how will it work? I'm not in direct control of the scheme, but um, hopefully it will work. And there was a couple of downsides. The, the, the WASPy women weren't too happy. Women against state pension inequality, because she said she can't really revisit that issue. Cost of living guy was like, I need help now, yeah. where she's only going to be able to help. She says as soon as she comes in, she'll start the process from day one, as she likes to say, but it'll still take till like next April. And also there was carers who are struggling on only £70 a week. But I thought she did well overall. Yeah. So Nick is very much team trust. How do you think she fared, Leo? Yeah, I'm, I'm team trust as well at this point. I mean, yeah. it is a two-horse race at the moment, yeah. and, uh, and Sunak isn't looking, you know, he's looking like uh, he's sort of hobbling over, uh, hob hobbling over, you know, a fence halfway down the yeah, course. He's come a cropper at Beaches Brook, hasn't he, that one? Yeah, and obviously, obviously in front of this audience and on this channel, uh, you know, trust could, could open up a bit about immigration and what, you know, what she wants to say rather than what she, she, she sort of... I think there's this... Uh, any debate or discussion around immigration in this country is really constrained by the yeah. fact that you know anything that isn't positive is seen as you know a horrible racism and must be must be shut down. When really there's there's some issues. I uh, think I, I, she doesn't seem to be feeling that way at all. She's just going directly, and you know she's gone with the old francophobia as a means. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, you know that's a vote winner, as Nick <laughs> in, intimated. But you know also this idea that that uh, you know the French are not helping the situation. I mean, that's certainly a given, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, uh, I think when we're part of the European Union, the French were maybe more incentivised to actually help us yes. and, and abide by it. But, uh, but now, now they're no, not. No, and now, no. now they're, they're almost using it, uh, using it to, to punish us, much as, you know, Putin ships, uh, ships um, immigrants yeah. to, to the Belarus border and, uh, and then fires them into, into what, Poland. What do you think about uh, the fact that she invoked specifically the European Court of Human Rights and she mentioned the, you know, the issue with... Uh, them intervening with the government's oh, yeah. policy over R Rwanda, and I think this has made this is quite a this could be a vote winner as well. In insofar as, irrespective of where you stand on the Rwanda situation, we shouldn't have some unknown judges in Strasbourg that no one voted for or knows or yeah. could name overriding decisions that have been ratified by the courts in this country yeah. and by the government itself. What, what do you think, Nick? What are you, a fascist, Andrew? I know, <laughs> I know. It, According to Twitter. It's, I know, well, sorry about that tweet. It, it's very, it's, I know, it's, that's an obvious one. You, she said, yes, we, we have, you have to be able to control your own laws. You can't say, this is our policy, then it gets stopped, like you say, by some supranational body. The only thing, the other thing I want to just come back on is she did actually say she had a tough call with, with the French saying you need to put more staff on. She wasn't just doing sort of slogans. Yeah. And the other thing I just wanted to quickly say about Rishi, I know it's quite funny that he's switched to saying uh, I'd rather lose than lie so he's done a sort of David Brent <laughs> yeah. this is the real quiz yeah. so now losing is the new winning because yeah. it shows you've got integrity that's how well his campaign is so doing he's sensing that it's not going too well for him could be he's doing some damage limitation anyway on